messing. So YouTube, we're gonna play some Gaming Shadow or Gaming Sphere Traverse Shadow tonight. I was messing around with this last night and just got a five hour out the bat. Um, deck felt good. I played against two decks that were good against the Gaming Sphere was good against. I played against um, whatever that deck is. Uh, I played against Storm and. Um, uh, amulet Titan, and the sphere was very good against Amulet. It actually stopped my opponent from like I, I didn't have it on turn two. I had it a little bit late, and it stopped my opponent from in uh, one of the sideboard games. It stopped my opponent from casting a Fighting Old Titan because the Bounce Land didn't make two mana, and then it also stopped my opponent from going packed into Titan in the next game because they didn't have seven mana. So, I thought that was pretty awesome. The card was sweet. Uh, I hope it's a real deal. It's a pretty, it's a pretty cool card. <clears throat> but yeah, I've got to figure out exactly where I want all the rest of my cards to look like. I don't know if I want any graveyard hate because I have three battle rages. So if I want to worry about like company decks or dredge, like battle rage, is probably just the best way to handle that. Good, not great. We're going to look for an interactive spell on one. And then we're going to bobble ourselves. If we don't like it, then we'll fetch. If we do like it, then we won't. Then we won't fetch. This could easily become a Tarmac Wife game. You know, where we could hover at a decently high life total, not hemorrhage ourselves quickly. And just kind of rock and roll. I'm either going to play this. Um... I'm either gonna play this deck or I'm gonna play a Bobble Death Shadow, a Bobble Grixis deck at the SCG next weekend. I just like I like how like linear or an aggressive the Grixis deck feels like. Okay, we don't want this. So now we have to do the Bobble trick. Oh, I've been playing standard. Forgot that I can't uh, F8 with a Street Wraith in my hand. Um. I actually don't think we want this because we don't have a way to get it into play. So let's go get an Overgrown Tomb. We really want to hit this card spell here. Why don't we get the Shadow? Tilt? I mean, that's alright. It's not like a terrible draw. It's not like it's, you know, real bad. And now we're going to be able to play it on turn two if we draw like a discard spell or a removal spell. This is gonna be a tough matchup. I think we're just gonna get our boy down here. Uh, I should have played. Well, I kind of want to play Tarmac Boy because it's like inefficient. But if I had played Death Shadow there, then I could have attacked for probably more points next turn. But Death Shadow is also my better threat. Looks like you're gonna get Spreading Seized here. This matchup is just abysmal. It's probably the worst matchup in the format for this deck. All right, um, so this goes and gets me Overgrown Tomb. Hopefully, oh, we can't, we don't double black. That sucks. So what am I worried about them playing on turn three? Probably nothing. I guess Gideon, but we can kill the Gideon. And then next turn, I can go discard spell, traverse, play another Death Shadow. Okay. So this is pro something's probably in path. Hey, how are you doing there, Grant? I think I'm gonna go discard spell. Well, actually, so like the card that I'm worried about is Supreme Verdict. And I don't think we're actually gonna beat Supreme Verdict, so maybe it's just better to go get another Tarmogoyf. Like there's no way we're beating a Verdict in this game. We can't actually play around it. So 
So we could just be like, hope they don't have. I mean, they have six cards, so like, I think I think we're gonna lose either way. It doesn't really matter. And this this represents maybe a path to exile. So I think I'm just gonna like, well, actually, no, I have to uh, thought seize anyways in order to turn on the delirium. So I guess we're gonna do it like this. Saw that coming. Should make my goyf big. It's kind of cool. I like big goyfs. I cannot lie. My opponent, we just see like a Jace here, and then I'm gonna puke. At least if we see a Jace, I can go get a second Tarmogoyf and put two Tarmogoyfs in play. Tough. Tough either way. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess I just take the kitchen Finx. So the Wall of Omens draws him another card. The Finx is annoying. The problem is I can't really overpower the Finx. I don't have like a huge Death Shadow. And the Finx does represent five life and two blocker, four lives and two blocker. So the Finx really represents like eight or nine life. So I actually, I think we might traverse. And this makes it so that there's a chance that this this is live next turn because they're gonna draw a card off the um, Wall of Omens. So I think I'm gonna traverse for a Tarmogoyf so that I can go Tarmogoyf discard spell next turn. If I had double black, then I'd probably traverse for a Death Shadow. I hate, I hate taking, I hate leaving them with a card like, um, they have four cards? Yeah. I hate leaving them with a card like Wall of Omens when their hand is so bad, but like, Finks and Wall of Omens kind of do the same thing. One just gains life and the other doesn't. So hopefully they play like a, hopefully they play like a tap now. Okay, so they just drew into walls. So they went wall, wall. And then they, whatever they drew off their draw step. Alright, let's take a look. Resto Jace. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to slog through. We're gonna need like a battle rage probably to win this game. Which we do have three, so. It's not like a super unlikely thing. It sucks that one battle rage. Well, I guess one battle rage wins us the game. So we play the Lay of Colonnade. There's probably a decent spot for Jace Bounce. My, I guess it's that. I mean, Bounce a Goyf. Yep. We need a removal spell. I guess this is actually kind of loose for my opponent. Well, they, they got away with it. So they have Resto into, um, I should have attacked first, I shouldn't have even shown them that. Because I'm going to attack anyway, so they have Field of Ruin. Okay. So I'm just going to do the same thing, I'm going to attack, I'm just going to discard Spell Tarmogoyf. I'll let the Jace go, so they probably have another Jace. But I would assume this means they have Jace number two in their hand. Yeah. At least we got that Jace out of there. And it makes it so that if they go Jace down, if they go Jace and down, I guess my whatever it is, it's still not lethal. A battle rage. Because they're going to block with their wall. Resto plus Colonnade is going to put on a clock. They're about to about to dude. Play Colonnade. So they have Field of Ruin, Resto. So I can kill the J. I can kill the Jace. And then my opponent just has Resto Colonnade. 
Yeah. Alternatively, if I just uh, kill this, attack my opponent, they can go bounce, block. And if I don't draw a removal spell, I'm kind of in trouble. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna be an adult, get this Jace off the battlefield. The Jace didn't really do a lot for my opponent. I'm not sure if they could have played in a way to have them do more, but I don't know. I think my opponent easily, my opponent probably mismanaged their resources this game, which is allowing us to be in it. Are you playing at the uh, Gamer Craze thing today, Grant? That's a pretty good field to run for my opponent. Hopefully this isn't a Wrath. They drew Wrath, I got him to throw up. No, they drew Colonnade. Okay, so they're at least on the Restoration Chum plan. So hopefully we draw a Fatal Push. Oh no, we're actually just good. Okay. We got lucky. We got lucky for sure. Alright, let our opponent block. Battle Rage over the one he blocked. Just making my deck list. Nice. Nice. I would like to be able to watch that today, but today is my um, sister-in-law's boyfriend's birthday, so we're going to go out to brunch with them. I might be able to catch the later ends of it today. I guess I could have Battle Rage the other one too. Doesn't really matter. I am very surprised we won that game. I think my opponent could have played that probably better. All right, um, Lingering Souls is like good, not great. I probably have to bring it in with Collective Brutality and Last Hope because I need to be able to like, after they kill my white source, I have to be able to put these in the graveyard in order to use them off the black source. So I might not bring, I might not do it, but. Um. Maybe Lingering Souls just isn't what I want to do. Because. <laughs> because it's just going to be so easy for them to mess with my mana base. Maybe I could bring in like one or two. These Decays are for like Detention Spheres and Gideons. I don't know if they actually have those, but it also hits Wall of Omens. This Bolt only hits Jace. So I can probably at least cut this. Bring these in. I'm gonna go with a Miser's Lingering Souls is better than that. Um, three pushes is probably fine. Yeah, I'll load this. Um, I actually don't know, Grant. I just, I wanted to put four in so I would draw it. To be honest, like I, I want, I wanted, like when I wanted it, I wanted to draw it to make sure that I could figure it out. It was very good when I played it yesterday. Yeah, we gotta ship this. I played against Amulet and Storm, and they both were pretty good. I tend to think that this Death Shadow deck without the counter spells has a bit of an issue with Storm, but that's because I, I may, I also might just like overestimate how good Storm is. But like, I don't know, I always respect that deck a lot. And I don't lose to it very much, but I think it's because I, I devote a lot to it. I think there's a lot of people that don't, um, don't respect Storm very much. And that's part of the reason why the deck does well. Let's hope that they don't. Spreading Seas on top, probably means we can't win. Oh, uh, well, we hit the spreading seas. I do think the Tron matchup's that bad. Well, at least we drew lands. I'm doing well there, King Mudkips. I'm doing well. So Collective Brutality actually doesn't hit Jace the Mind Sculptor. Alright, so now we traverse... I'm gonna get my worst green duel. Now, I'm gonna get a Tarmogoyf with this one. 
because I can go like play Tarmogoyf next turn. I can play Tarmogoyf and then Traverse again. And not have to do like, I guess a million points of damage to myself. They're gonna field this more than likely on their turn. This blue light deck's pretty annoying. It's just like it turns into like this land destruction deck. We could have such a smooth turn if we had that land there. So at least we're gonna be able to so this gets me a green source, green source. I need two green sources so that, because more than likely they're gonna play this um, Jace and bounce a Goyf, and I would like to have a double Goyf turn. That's a pretty good draw too, but I can't cast it. Now we're gonna get, we're gonna get another Overgrown Tomb and Traverse again. Low on life total, but at least the collective brutality should be able to help me out with that. Yeah, because heroes versus me. I lost infinity because it slowed me down just enough. That's what the card is. I mean, the card's like the card's not the end all be all. You know, it, it's like it's like Blood Moon and Stony Silence against Tron. They're gonna they're gonna figure it out eventually. Or they might draw it out. Okay, so now we are gonna go double. We're gonna go double Tarmogoyf, then we're gonna get Supreme Verdicted, and then I'm gonna puke. So I'm gonna go double time away because they can just bounce this. We're we're get, we're happy that there's no colony yet. We're just gonna scoop to a wrath of god here, I think. I think that's the plan. Okay, so that's annoying. Bounce one. Other. All right, so we're gonna attack the Jace and then Liliana. Oh, that's a really good draw. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go start by attacking this Jace. And then I kind of want to play this Liliana and roll up on this. Because they're just going to be able to resto it if I don't do that. I don't see a super good way of winning this game, though. But I could just play Tarmogoyf, but I can't deal with a resto. I can't go Thoughtseize into Last Hope. So, like, what's probably going to end up happening is they're going to just tick up. They're gonna just like smack me with this um, Celestial Colonnade and bounce this Tarmogoyf. Decks like these are annoying. Like they're, they're just like the Flash deck. I went through it and I lost because of it. Which is another tool or storm, but it shouldn't be people to it. Yeah, I mean, it's nice that you can play it on two, which is what I'm excited about. <laughs> Thoughts. I can't go. I can go. Thought sees something. Then I go to five. Shrink the resto. Yeah, I think that what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna attack the Jace first. And then go like Thought sees, play Tarma Wife, tick up on Restoration Angel. And then hold up Fatal Push. Yeah, here's the resto. Thoughtseize, Tarmogoy, Fatal Push. Another Restoration Angel, Crypt Command. Take the ruined halo. Take up on this. Play another time of Hopefully my opponent just fires at the colonnade. I think that's like the best way for me to win. 
but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm in trouble either way. That's just a tough matchup. Field of Ruin, okay. Field of Ruin turns on Revolt for me. It's kind of tempting for my opponent to go for it here. <coughs> but on top of that, they also have so much to do with their mana that, you know, it might not be necessary. So this turn, I likely have to cast Collective Brutality and kick it. Well, they attacked my Liliana? No way. Oh, they're going to Verdict. That seems weird. So now I can just go roll down, thought seize, hold up, fatal push. I mean, we're gonna get we're getting Jace out of this game, but they played this island. I guess a death shadow would be pretty good for the home team here. So let's roll this down. Pick up this Death Shadow. Thought sees my opponent. I guess I can actually just kind of take everything here. Well, no, because I have to. Fe no, I can fetch a basic. Ooh, no, I can't, because then I can't. I don't have trip black. One, two, three, fire up. No, so we gotta we just gotta play this shadow. <coughs> oh now we're I think we're dead now. I think I killed myself right there because now they just go like field of ruin, get a mana, I float, move to combat, fire up colonnade. Yeah, I muffed that up. I just didn't count right. At least I think that kills me. Just one, two, three, get, make a mana. So they need to make a land drop. They need to feel to ruin me, make a land drop, and I'm dead. Because I didn't have four, I needed four black sources that turn in order to do, in order to do the line of play that I was thinking. Ugh. I think they should have just attacked me next turn, last turn, and like not verdicted, and just held up like Restoration Angel. I think they gave me a chance by doing it like this. So there's the land. Field me. No, it doesn't look like they're casting Field of Ruin. Verdict, okay. Again, like, I don't get it. But okay, so now I kind of get it. So the last card, Cryptic Command. So if we draw a Death Shadow. We're in like okay spot. I guess I might as well just go like this. But we're more than likely just dead here. Like where our opponent's untapping with a Jace on an open board. They're actually just dead. They're gonna, they're gonna like nobody beats Jace on an open board unless they shuffled away their cryptic. They shuffled away their cryptic, but they at least should probably should put their cryptic on top. If we end up wrapped to K, we might have a chance. Yeah, that's probably opponent probably punted that. <laughs> We're probably gonna take like one more draw step because we might be able to go like end of turn to K this. Um, if we draw it and then untap and. Um, Untap, kill the Jace, and then maybe like be close to parity. All right, we gotta make sure to do this before combat because they look like they got a cryptic command mana here. Looks like they got cryptic command. Or are they gonna field me? Okay. 
field into like Manalik maybe. All right, probably one more draw step. Go to ball. All right. Oh shoot, that was I thought that was a death shadow today. That was stupid. That was stupid. I could have a death shadow in play. I forgot that they sphered this and killed the shadow. I thought they killed the shadow and sphered this. Um, I thought they killed the Liliana and sphered the shadow. So we could, ha we would have a, we would at least have a 8-8 eight, eight, or a death shadow in play right here, which doesn't look like it overly matters because, but it was, it was just like four sequencing for me. I just like wasn't necessarily super, wasn't paying attention to like what this card was. I should make sure I don't have a lingering soul in my graveyard. They could go like cryptic bounce their sphere. They definitely should have done this on my turn. Because then we at least make them kind of go for it. Delta. So now I gotta roll this back. Unless we hit Lingering Souls, I have to get Street Wraith. And then hope to Street Wraith into a Fatal Push. Because this Colonnade's gonna kill me. Yeah. We did. I'm gonna go grab some coffee. I'll be right back from game three. Yeah, that was just like, I, I checked out of that game, like I was mentally out of it. I should have at least been paying attention a little more. So I kind of want these battle rages. My opponent doesn't have a lot of removal I've seen. These brutalities don't seem super great. I think we're going to try the battle rages this game. They don't have that much removal, and they have a lot of ways to gum up the board. So I think we're going to just try to like, I think we're going to try to cheese them here. I think that's probably a better play than trying to play a, play a longer game against my opponent. Eater. Um. Uh, I mean, we're, we're gonna keep it. It is not great, but All right. I mean, that's a spell. I'm gonna play this because I actually want to draw two cards. I want to go like. I want to cycle this at the end of their turn, and then draw Death Shadow plus like discard spell on my turn. I could have looked at the card they drew, but I think it's if I can see if they put anything on top, it might give me more of an idea what they're doing, what they need. Land. Okay, so they're probably short on those. I'm gonna fetch after I draw my Death Shadow. Pretty marginal play, but like, I don't, I don't want to draw another land. And I'm gonna fetch shock anyways. I'm not gonna get, I'm probably gonna get like, overgrown tomb because I have two of those. too early yeah I'm an early bird what's going on with uh like I got between Philly and you know what I got going on here I'm, I tend to be an early guy I wonder if I'm supposed to abrupt decay this I don't think so I think I'm supposed to hold abrupt decay for something that like really matters yeah, you dub control. They're playing like Finxes and Restos and uh, Wild Omens there, Archmage. Okay, so this one goes and gets me Blood Crypt. And this goes and gets me Overgrown Tomb, probably. Maybe I was supposed to hit that with a with an Abrupt Decay, but 
feels rough doing that. So we're gonna get the stopping ground in play just in case they figure out a way to deal with my. So we have two red sources in play, so that if some reason it becomes a death shadow game, then I think you hold the cage for these here. Yeah. Mighty fine target. So this is like Scream's Path to Exile. But I'm just gonna hit this. This is gonna put two, so we're gonna have Delirium at least. So let's hit this, crack in here. could have like traversed for a land to pump this shadow but the problem is like they're representing path to exile and if they do path my shadow there then I've got nothing going on am I gonna get field of ruined looks like it what is this a kitchen thing it's a kitchen thing probably <laughs> check out what they're doing. Restoration Angel, Jace, the Mind Sculptor, Spell Snare. A lot of cards there that we, that we cannot beat. I guess I'll just take a wall. The Spell Snare doesn't really do anything. Um... I like don't know how to win anymore. Um, the problem is, I just like maybe I, I was probably supposed to get Overgrown Tomb here. I was really worried about not having Overgrown Tomb or not having a red source. My whole game plan was to try to cheese out a team or battle rage. And maybe I'm still supposed to try to cheese out a team or battle rage. So I can get like I can go get like a Tarmogoyf. I can go get another Death Shadow. I think I'm gonna need two Death Shadows to win this, but I don't have another land. The Liliana is not gonna do anything. I could get a Street Wraith, and draw another card. Or I can get a fetch land and hold the fetch land. Or I can get fetch land, hit the... But then the Finks just comes back. Or I can go get Tarmogoyf, so if my opponent goes like... But then the Tarmogoyf plays right into the spell. So what are they going to do next turn? They're probably... I think that my opponent's going to play Jace and bounce my... But if I just show them I get Tarmogoyf, then they're not going to I guess we're gonna get Meyer. We're just gonna, I guess, like the whole game plan here is we're just gonna cheese our opponent out with one shot here. The nice thing is if they block, then we can kill it on the comeback. And then they're gonna bounce my shadow. I might as well get this, because they might kill this instead of one of my like other lands. And then we're gonna replay the shadow. After they bounce it. I don't really mind if they play the Restoration Angel. Because the Restoration Angel is going to like do some damage to me. And I'd like to see if I can maneuver this game somehow to where they get too comfortable behind like Wall, Jace, Resto. And I can just Battle Rage and kill them. Definitely in a lot of trouble. There's no other way around. The spell snare also hits my battle rage, so if they, you know, I'd have to wait for them to like tap out. So they bounce this probably. We re 
play it. Probably this is Jace is just gonna absolutely destroy this this Liliana. God, we're so punished here. I should have definitely got an overgrown tomb. Like this does, this card doesn't do anything. This card doesn't do anything. I think I just play this. They're gonna bounce it again, but at least they're bouncing it, they're not brainstorming. We have a big case of none of our cards do anything. And heads up, this, this Jace is just gonna dominate this Liliana, so there's no point in even playing this. If they play like a Wall of Omens next turn and don't bounce this, then I can play Liliana, eat it the Wall of Omens, and kill the Jace. two plays. Okay, looks like they have two plays. They have like a kitchen fix here too. No. Maybe they have a counter spell. Yeah, super. Moral of the story here is I shouldn't have got the second red source. I mean, even though like I was planning on Battle Rage, I have a lot of outs to that card. I'm trying to keep casting this. They're drawing a Flooded Strand. Looks like we're gonna get fielded. All right, I guess now, I guess now I get the Swamp. Like what green spells are gonna win me this game? None of them. There's basically no green spells that really matter. So I wanna be able to cast like Liliana and Death Shadow if they bounce it again. Green spells just don't do anything. Do have another field, okay. So we got Resto, Spell Snare, X. So like Brainstorm, five car hearts. Never can win. Just like, and like I would have had a chance if I'd have had triple black in the beginning. I think I, I think I might have been able to win this if I had the triple black. But yeah, we're just we're just dead. And I ignored the like this is the green spell that matters. But if I'd have had triple black in the beginning, I think I'd have had a chance. But alas, I did not fetch in such a way that allowed me to have triple black because I was worried about double red. So I prob there's probably something I could have done there that would have been better. Like I, I think I think that one is purely my fault. Like I have to worry about making sure I can establish a threat before, um, before I can worry about battle rage. And that matchup's also like pretty garbage, anyways. Like I don't think that I've got a good chance. Anyways, I get that deck. <sighs> but I definitely could have played myself to it, to at least a chance. I'm gonna try to get two leagues in today. I don't know if I will. I basically, I, I have to be on the road by 11:30, so I need to finish nine matches in two and a half hours, which this deck's capable of for sure. Nine matches in two and a half hours is 100, 150 minutes divided by nine. It's like 18 minutes a match, something like that. I need a lot of two O's and a lot of O2s in order for that to happen. Hopefully we can rattle off four in a row. That'd be pretty good. Wind up with a profit. All right, it's a very good hand. Discard spell and do a good threat. Our opponent Mulligans. 
Ignore a lot of removal. It looks like we're playing against Dredge. Yeah. This is like, we need a Battle Rage. We need a Battle Rage bad. So this is going to go get me Overgrown Tomb. And again, this is like a little bit of a deck. Oh, what a... That sucks. They got double cathartic. We'll take one of them. This is like a deck building restriction or issue with these Death Shadow decks. It's like you can't really afford to play a lot of... Oh, I should have taken the Faithless Looting. Oh, they only have one land. I zoned out on that. I should have definitely taken the Looting. Yeah, that was a mistake. I just didn't realize they had the land. I was talking. Nice. Heavily. Well, without a land... So what do they got here? They've got... I mean, without a land, we might be able to get them. Then we have to get this Tarmogoyf down. We're going to cycle this first. Okay. Uh, play this. Should have definitely taken the land. Yeah, I mean, I was like... I was talking draft and I missed it. Which is unfortunate. Like, it probably... They could have given us a chance to win this game. The thing is that they... It actually was... I actually... Well, let me look here. They put a card in the bottom. So they didn't, like, scry a land at the top. But they looting on one, so it didn't really matter. So here come these two. I need to get Delirium so these Grim Flares can, like, get over the top of these chunk blockers. Delirium, I guess. So I can go get a forest, push, attack, block, three, six. I can go get death shadow. So I can go push, push, traverse, play death shadow, block. Well, actually, I'm gonna, I might as well hit one of these. So death shadow go to go block, block, take two. I'm at eight. If I attack, I go block, take. Five, they loan back. I gotta get Death Shadow to win this match, I think. And I gotta start attacking. But I think it's better to kill one of these prize albums. And this is gonna give them the opportunity, I guess, to con flag my shadow, but if my shadow's getting con flagged, at least that's not me. So I block here, they con flag. They would need one more land in order to do that, but they can give the gemstone mine back. So they play gemstone, loan back three lands, go to three cards. Yeah, maybe I can't attack with anything, actually. Yeah, I think we gotta actually hold the team back here. Then next turn, I go double attack with both, go double Grim Flare, and then hope. Another Malvin's coming back. I should have killed. I killed the Narco. Like, again, we're just like playing fast here, and I think that I probably just like checked out of this game because we're dead either way. Unless we draw Battle Rage. But I didn't even leave myself that out. The problem is they just have their long game engine going here. And they're just gonna eventually they're just gonna sit there, they're gonna wait, and then they're gonna con flag me out of the game. I've not played Super Great this morning. Hey man, how's it going? Block here. Block here. I just cleaned my board out. These all come back. We're in a tough spot. Either way. So we can go double Grim Flare. So they have another con flag. They have one, but we'll take we'll take another draw step. 
We're dead in two. We're dead now. Yeah. I'm not playing super well this morning. Like, I should have just taken the looting. I gotta wake up here. So, I don't like the veils are not good. And the last hopes are better than those, at least. They're not great. Um, all my removal is kind of mopey. So, I probably could board out, like, a couple of these. I actually don't mind Brutality after sideboard because it kills um, Stinkweed Imp and they bring in a couple more like interactive spells. So it's just nice to have a little bit more discard. I want one of these. Cut one of these. Plus it like turns on Delirium if I need to be like super fast. Yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. I gotta wake up here. We're making like some some poor some poor play. I wasn't even up that late last night. I just like had my head in my ass. But it's first league. Yeah, we got a in this. We need a death shadow. We have a battle rage and a death shadow, so like we're gonna keep it. We're gonna put this on the bottom. A lot of people that I know that play Death Shadow, they think that this is a good matchup, but I'm just like, dude, this is not good at all. Like, I don't know what, I don't know what you're talking about here. So we got an EE, a Lava Axe, and a Faithless Looting. I probably just have to take. This is super brutal because they've got like this is just like a perfect hand. I can take Looting. But they're just gonna EE -E my Death Shadow. And then, like, it's gonna take a while for me to get over Lightning Axe. I think I just gotta, like, slow him down and try to buy some time. No, I even misclicked on the card. Ugh, this is so bad. This is so bad. I literally was like, I'm gonna take this card and then didn't click it. We are all over the place this morning. The little the moto prob. So ditch stinkweed him. And that's it. Or at least takes engineered explosives. Oh, I should have motherfucker. I'm just all over the place this morning. My head is just like squarely in my ass. The sick thing is that we can still, like, win this. You know, like, if we just if we just get to a point where our Death Shadow is larger than this Faithless Looting here, or this Lava Axe, then, like, we just Battle Rage over the top. I would like to not use this to play Lay of the Land. Play Loam. These two things come back. So my opponent attacks me next turn. Three, five... Seven. If I draw fetch land, I can get my death shadow to play next turn. I'd like to leave this traverse in my hand for if I get delirium, that I can. Um, if I get delirium, then I'll be able to. What's my thought process here? If I get delirium, I can go find like a street raid to just try to like one shot my opponent. Like the only way I'm gonna win this game is if I can get like a, a good one shot in. But they have a con flag in their graveyard now, so now I'm just like. I'll come back. Uh, five. Yeah. We're just dead. Alright, I'm gonna drop from this league, restart here. Try to see if I can like pay attention at least. I've just played played I played both of these games very poorly. And just like was not paying attention in either of the matches there. Which is like my fault. I'm just gonna like wake up. I'm just gonna wake up. Usually I'm pretty good at streaming as early in the morning. Like it's usually just my my main time, but man, it has not been good today. I hope everyone's having a good morning at least. They get their laughs in watching this watching this stuff.
was the first match. I played against Blue Light. Alright, this guy's pretty good. We can go like discard spell, Inquisition, and then play Grim Flare, and probably we draw a fetch land, we'll probably get Delirium on two. On three, excuse me. Hopefully we get Delirium in order to like attack Remand. Okay. So this is a matchup where Grim Flare is probably gonna be weak unless they're playing Storm. If they're playing Storm, it's like it's okay. Yeah, they're playing Storm. Okay, so we're just going to take their sleight of hand, their hand's terrible. Okay, Decay's, Decay's not bad. Decay's kind of a good little insurance plan. But don't draw land. Like, hopefully, that's a good draw. Hopefully, I just go, they go like, draw Baral, and I can go land Liliana, Edict, and then we're off to the freaking races. That doesn't appear like what's going to occur. <clears throat> I'm going to cast this before combat. They're probably going to remand it. Then I'm going to cast it again. Because I want to know what they have going on. Before I go sifting with Grimflare. They just have a lot of mana. So what are we looking for? We're looking for... We're just looking for more shadows. We're looking for Tarmogoyf, actually. I click through again. So this Tarmogoyf is going to be good because it's going to allow us to go play Tarmogoyf and have Fatal Push Up. I do like Grim Flare. I like Grim Flare as just a card in Modern. I should have, like, obviously should have mulled Land Death Shadow. I just clicked through it. Grape Shot. Okay. So we're alright with that. So what they play? They played when like again if I had to like not click through here. I'm just having all kinds of issues today. So they played Snow Cover Island. They have four cards, we know them all. So because their hand's so bad, I'm gonna play Tarmogoyf and look to play Liliana next turn. Their hand doesn't need much to be good, but that's what they drew. We're gonna go Liliana, tick out, pitch this Death Shadow. This Tarmogoy is gonna be good on its own. The scary thing about Storm here is that, like, they don't need a lot to go off, and because they've already got four lands in place, so they can just kind of freely ditch these Steam Vents. If they draw, like, a past in Flames, I'm in a lot of trouble. So they played Steam Vents, they ditch the Steam Vents. We're gonna keep all of our removal spells. This is a chance for our spheres after sideboard to shine here. This is where it's kind of rough because like all they need really is like, all they need is a past in flames and they're probably gonna win this game. Just gonna tip, tick up and ditch this Tarmogoyf, keep both removal spells. They just have Pyretic Rituals, so they have a spell. If they had gifts here, they're probably going to gifts for some number of mana creatures. And I'm going to give them the mana creatures. Okay, so they drew gifts. Oh, they drew wipe away? Oh, they drew gifts. Okay. So this should be fun. It's going to be a good gift pile. They have desperate rituals, so they're definitely going to get past the flames. What I really want to do is... So they have Desperate Ritual in hand. That's the one that splices. So I don't want to give them another Desperate Ritual. So if I give them Desperate Ritual, Manamorphos, Pyretic, Pass the Flames. One, two. One, two. So they have three mana, use one mana, go up to five mana, and then only have one mana left over. So I almost think that I have to give them Pyretic, Past in Flames, in the Graveyard. No, actually put Desperate Ritual, Past in Flames in the Graveyard, because as of right now, because we know they have this ritual, as of, with two rituals in play, they are, they're actually like, 
gonna fizzle out casting the Pass the Flames because this goes up to three. They use one mana. They use two mana to cast it. Then they go up to four. So they got four mana. No. They got four mana and three lands. So I guess I'm just dead either way, right? So they go Ritual. Ritual. Ritual up with... And they have five mana. Ritual to six. So if I put Pass the Flames in the graveyard, they might fizzle. Right? Because this is three. Then they go down to one. They go up to four. And they have four, five, six, seven. Is that right? They have seven mana. So I'm just dead. Yeah, we're dead either way, right? Two. Two, six, seven. Yeah, so we're just, we're like super dead. So I need to give them the least amount of looks. And this, we probably would have won this game if I would have like not clicked through my Grim Flare trigger on two, but again, I'm just like losing it here today. We're all over the place. It might be a short stream today. I'm just, I don't, through three games here, I'm just like not into it. I'm not paying attention. Yep. Four, five, six, seven. They get past the flames. Then they cast all their rituals. They only have one Metamorphose, which is, which is good. They use it now. I guess they have, the, they have the option to just gifts for more things if they need to. They can't go like Grape Shot Revan, the Grape Shot, because it's got Flood and Pash back. Six. I feel like they should have made two blue, but maybe they couldn't, maybe they didn't have enough. Like, I feel like they should have made a whole shitload of red mana and then made two blue off there. Because, like, yeah, now, now they're not really doing anything. Unless they have another way to filter mana. I have no idea what their storm count is. Shiv and Reef's another way to filter mana. Gifts. Yeah, they're just going to Gifts again. Five mana. So I have to put Grape Shot in the graveyard. And probably just this ritual. It's another Grape Shot. Oh, they can go Ritual Grape Shot. I might not be dead. More than likely dead next turn. Hey, Sen Young. How are you doing today? I think it's very good. I think it's very good, Lajasso. Like, it's not the end all be all. Repeal my Tarmac Life. Great shot. not gonna make him do it I think it's good I think it's good I, I'm not like I went 5-0 with the league last night tonight I'm just like not today I'm not just paying attention which is costing me I need to wait I need to wake up here I'm just not playing well this morning so all these come in um, my pushes come out I don't need all of these traverses I'm gonna keep my bolts in because they go upstairs And cut some of my removal. A lot of the times they board out some cost reducers.
Yeah, we'll go like this and then keep it. The sphere's, the sphere's very good. I, I'm not sure if it's like, I'm not sure if it's, you know, format breaking, but it is, it is very good. So this is a pretty quick hand. It's got Teamer Battle Rage Death Shadow, and their main their main game plan after sideboard is going to be empty the Warrens. So I really don't like mulliganing a hand that's got access to all of this, and we have a redraw. So I think I'm going to keep this. This is a pretty loose. Uh, this could be loose, but like right here is how we're going to win this match. They're probably going to like empty for a bunch, and then we're just going to like battle rage them one time and kill them. I just want to draw them. there. Black Mind. Right, is that how we say it? I just, I just want to draw the card. Probably show mulligans. Again, I'm just not really... Right, I'm frustrated with... So we went top, top. We're definitely shocking ourselves here. Getting Blood Crypt. Carnal Wipe would be a good draw. That's pretty decent. Let's see how it does here. The symmetrical effect, so we gotta see. Okay. That's actually a pretty good draw as um, it makes it so that if my opponent goes to bolt my shadow, I can then um, I can then just bolt myself. And if I draw uh, sorcery and if they pull up, blow up this dampening sphere, then um, I'll have Delirium. Yeah, my opponent definitely goes to Goblin Town next turn, they're dead. They go to Goblin Town, don't have any interaction, they're dead. But... So we traded. It's like we just bolt ourselves, traverse. This means they're likely dead as well. So what they take? They took empty, yeah. Bolt our shadow. Or bolt our face. Battle raise your shadow. <clears throat> now we don't actually really know if Damping Spear did anything there. Like what it did do is it made it so that they couldn't EE -E on one. So, you know, take with that what you will. I'm gonna board out these brutalities. I'm gonna draw and bring in these decays now that we've seen that. Storm must suffer, yeah. Liliana is actually slow on the draw. It's not very good against their goblin plan. I think Tron lands are the eternal evil in modern. Their Archmage. Yeah, we're gonna keep this hand. We have two discard spells and a damping sphere and like a bobble for a redraw. They just can't get goblined out. Like I seriously doubt they were solved. That's a great draw. So now we get to like look at our top card here. If we like it, we'll keep it. If we don't, we do like that. Um, start off. So I'm actually gonna lead with a thought seize. Well, I'm gonna lead with a thought seize. Well, no, I'm gonna go in position. We get punished here if my opponent has like a million rituals.
So I think I'm going to take EE. E. Then we're going to get the Death Shadow. Actually, that only puts me to five. So I, they drew a Steam Vents. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to get the Sphere down here. They're going to be able to pieces this turn, but like... If we draw a land, we can, um, we can Thought Seize and Shadow. So they put Grape Shot, Manamorphose. They put Grape Shot and Chandra Torch in their graveyard. So they, they put Desperate Ritual, Manamorphose. So they put, Chandra's kind of cool. So that's their hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Shivan Reef. So can we can we afford to play Tarmogoyf? So they go Shivan Reef, Pyretic, up a mana. So they have three, four. I think we can play Tarmogoyf because they go Shivan Reef. They then their like their second spell starts getting taxed. So they would go Pyretic Ritual, make three mana, play a land. They have five mana, they can play empty. If they play another ritual, so five mana, they play another ritual, it's just even. So they can go like ritual, ritual, empty for three. And I think we can beat that with double battle. Think we can beat that with double battle rage? Six goblins. If they get feisty, we can play our own. Yeah. Our best draw next turn is a fetch land. Vents tap, okay. Fetch land. Uh, that's a forest. So we're gonna play this, take the empty. Ooh. Oh, they, they put the grape shot in their graveyard. Okay, so now we're just gonna take this empty. Crack in. They milled both of their grape shots. Okay. So they probably need. They're going to need passive flames in order to get this. So they're going to end a turn, Manamorphose. You got it, sir. They can't even go Manamorphose. They can't do anything with this. Because even if they. I guess they can repeal. Because repeal costs two. Alright, so that's okay. We they wasted a spell. Tarmogoyf grows pieces. They still have lightning bolt. So they put Serum Vision and Pyretic Ritual into their hand. There's, they just played Shiv and Reef. They have Pyretic Ritual. They left all of these. And they just played Serum Vision. So they have one card there, draw step that we don't know. Well, they draw a step one. We don't know what they drew off the <coughs> off the other card. They went bottom, bottom. We don't know what they drew for their turn. So I think I'm just going to bolt my opponent. Because my red man is going to be taxed. What does this do? This makes it so that I can go Team or Battle Rage. Team or Battle Rage if I need to. I think I'm gonna do that. It's awkward how the Dampening Sphere um, messes with you here. So 
Double Battle Rage doesn't do anything. We can go Battle Rage, fetch a basic, play Death Shadow probably. I don't really want to do any more damage to myself. I kind of wish I was at 12 right now. But I do think I'm going to Battle Rage this. I honestly think I'm just going to fetch a basic and play this shadow. Because I know they have Lightning Bolt, and like it's going to be tough for them to storm up here, because this one makes mana, this is even, this is negative. And if they target my Death Shadow, like it's going to be tough for them to make enough mana to kill me with them being taxed, or to um, or to kill this Tarmogoyf, and at least I've got this shadow down. But one of their spells is a bolt, so I really don't want to go below. I really don't. I want to have this in place, so if I draw away to deal damage, it's lethal. And it also turns off mana from this. I think definitely the sphere, like, hurts Death Shadow. But, like, I think the sphere is hurting my opponent much more than it's hurting me. You know? I'm going to just fetch a basic. Play this shadow. And then if we draw any way to deal ourselves damage next turn, we're good. And that's a lot of draws. It's like Thoughtseize, Street Wraith. So Manamorphose is even. But I, they just made double blue, so all these cantrips are going to like... This costs more. Yeah, now they're just like super dead. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, for example, Jerry Thompson used to play Shardless Bug a lot. And he played Trinisphere in his sideboard. And he sits there and he's like, yes, Trinisphere hurts me. I understand. But it hurts my opponent a lot more than it hurts me. I'll be right back. I'm going to fill and get some more coffee. Phil Dog, why are you eating... Too. You shouldn't be drinking that much, man, with your back being fucked up. That's a bad idea. <laughs> I think it's pretty medium. I think I'm gonna ship this. Ship this one too. If I had a fetch land, I might have kept that last hand, but alright, this hand's pretty good. Keep this. Uh, put it on top. I'm gonna fetch no matter what. We're discarding. We're discard spelling on one. I had a back brace on. <laughs> that must have been cool to see. champion we don't really like we kind of need these ornithopters and ravagers to hang around because we're gonna need ourselves to do damage then we're gonna do damage to us we just can't be that as champion and we can handle one of the ravagers with this so play blink moth ornithopter so we're gonna go get swamp So now we can win if our opponent starts smacking us. I think also, like, so I don't think Damping Sphere is very good out of the non, um, Steel Overseer. Okay, so that's, we're going to kill that. I don't think that Damping Sphere is very good out of the Death Shadow decks that have blue in them. 
Like, you're just playing blue, so, like, the counter spells are what does that for you, you know? Um, we could have let that stay in play, but that, that that's going to do, like, a lot of damage. It's just going to, like, make his board pretty unmanageable and make it so he can block through Battle Rage. Um, and, like, all, like, the Grixis Death Shadow or the Traverse Blue Death Shadow decks, that's annoying. Um, those decks don't need Damping Sphere, because counter spells are your game. I just don't think the counter spells are very good at the moment. Like, I think, oh, they have, okay. Like, I think the counter spells in modern are basically probably as weak as they've ever, as they've ever been. Tilt. We beat Fairfield to win the Empire Conference. Newport beat Boston Mystic. Let me change to playing Rhode Island next Saturday for the Northeast Hell. Nice! Okay, so one Ravager is bad. We're going to make it so they can't stack it in game life. So what we're doing, we're really hoping our opponent just smacks us a bunch. We get to play two Death Shadows and just draw two of Battle Rage. And, like, the one Ravager is no worse than the first Ravager. It would matter if we had a bunch of removal, because then they basically have, like, three creatures that you have to kill, but we don't have a bunch of removal. We're basically looking for just Battle Rage. Now, we have three Battle Rages, so... Okay, so what is my opponent going to do? They're going to hit me for at least two here. Hit me for two. I can get both my shadows into play. They hit me for three. Excuse me. Can't do math. And again, we draw Battle Rage. We're probably going to win. If we don't draw Battle Rage, I don't think we're going to win. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess they can like animate and attack and then probably kill me. They can just move everything over because I don't have any cards in their hand. Yeah, they probably easily can do 12 damage. So this is one, this makes one, two, three. Then they've got one, they have three, four, five. Okay, it's only four because they have to sacrifice one of these. So they're gonna make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, animate twelve. Yeah, so they can just like sack everything onto something and kill me. Yeah, I was just dead on the table there. We're gonna block this Arcbound Ravager. I mean, they might still see it. Do I shock myself? So if I shock myself, we're still just dead on the table no matter what we do. I think I'm just going to put this in the play tapped. And then I can move one over here. I mean, I probably should have just taken that, put that into play untapped and hope they didn't see it. Because now they can sack a bunch of artifacts and then just trade. If they want to. But if I, but again, like if I put it in the play untapped, they kill me, and they just, they just missed it. So they move this over to something. That Ravager. We do get lingering souls. Our sideboard is dynamite here. It will just pass. Maybe they'll do some really dumb attack that puts us to like two and then we rip battle rage and kill him. But again, we're in the same thing. So this is like three. Yeah, I mean we're just we're super dead if they if they play to it. 
But they didn't play to it last turn, so you never know. We're gonna block this. This is one, four, one, three, six. So it's six damage on the table. If they move anything, then they just sack all their shit to this to a flying creature and then kill us. They do have to kind of respect the removal spell. They should have just gone for it last turn. And they have to act, so this is kind of scary for them. Whoa. No, that just killed me too, right? Four. Four, six. Oh, that doesn't... Six. Yeah, it does. Six, ten. Yep. Yep. They got us. Okay, so we're going to bring in... We're going to bring in our Lilianas and our Lingering Souls and our Ancient Grudges and the Fatal Pushes. We're going to cut our Veils. Uh, we're going to cut... Yeah, Mold of Five Hearts. What are you going to do, though? Um, we're going to shave... So actually, I should do this right. We're going to shave a couple of these... We're gonna shave a couple of these. So that's, we need to cut three cards. I like to keep in some number of street rates for Delirium, but they also might just be boarding into Rest in Peace. So maybe we, they're probably gonna, they could play Rest in Peace. They're not gonna do very well at killing our creatures. So I could just cut all my, we could go like this. We have a shitload of tools after sideboard. Like we had double grudge, triple souls. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a good card. I think the metal game I think the metagame is really hostile to counter spells at this moment. So we have one, two, three. If we draw fetch land traverses on, we get a redraw. We have a battle rage, which is one of our best cards, and an abrupt case. So I'm gonna keep this hand. This can be a land if we need it. This is like a marginal hand. Like this is this is borderline. I could see somebody mulliganing this, and I would not fault them for it. But when it comes when it comes to modern, like as long as your deck, as long as you're sitting there and your deck is proactive and is able to like be linear at some point, then your deck's good. Spell Pierce. Steel Overseer, Cranial Plane. I'm gonna take this Steel Overseer, so my removal lines up here, and then I can decay this. If your deck is not linear in some way, then it is, in my opinion, it is bad. Like, your deck needs to be able to put its head down and tell your opponent to, like, fuck itself. Yeah, so, like, I'm either going to play... So, I'm playing at the Star City Games in Baltimore. I'm playing Modern for my team. I'm either going to play this deck in some configuration. It's probably, like, three or four cards off somewhere. Or I'm gonna play this. And in this version, I have four anglers off to the side. And or and I'm probably only gonna play like two stubborn denials in the main deck. Play something like this. These might become like a terminate. Though I do like dismember out of Grixis better than Judd. All right, that's a great draw. So actually, now we're just gonna get the big man down. <coughs> get the big boy. Big old garment toys in play. I do think if you're playing Grixis Shadow, you should be light on Snapcaster Mage and light on Stubborn Denials. Steel Overseer, Memnite. So we have Vault Scourge, Spell Pierce, Cranium. So I want to kill this right now. It's going to make our Tarmogoyf a little bit bigger. So the question, million dollar question here. Do we need this Traverse to get a creature to win this game? And I don't necessarily think so. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to bobble ourselves, check out our top card. 
Because we definitely want access to three lands. And if we don't want our top card, I'm going to just shuffle it away. And I do think we want this. Because they're going to start clocking us. And then um, the Death Shadow is going to come down. And the Death Shadow is probably just going to kill them in like one shot with his Battle Rage. <clears throat> I think you want to be high on creature removal and high on team or battle rage. I don't know if you can play three Teamer Battle Rages in Grixis Death Shadow, but like if you're playing Jun, you should play three Battle Rages for sure. So this holds up. Let's get some Activate. So our best draw off the top here would be like a land. Because if I draw a land, all of a sudden I can go Death Shadow, Now we're gonna traverse for our forest, put our forest right here. And then just crack in with our Tarmoloif. And then just abrupt decay this cranial plating on my opponent's turn. And then just play two Death Shadows. Next turn. Help you get in there. Yeah. Here comes the Vault Scourge. Spell Pierce is going to be kind of annoying. It's going to be able to like, mess with my Battle Rages. <laughs> Unless they tap out here. But we don't need them to tap out right now. What is going on with my stream? Is my stream tweaking out? On my end, it looks like it's tweaking out a little bit. My stream is going crazy. dropping any frames. Oh, I did. I dropped a million frames. Oh, this is frustrating. back up in frames so like give me give me a couple seconds here if it's still not working here I'll restart my stream in the meantime I'm gonna attack and play two death shadows and then we want to draw a land so that we can play around um, spell pierce I'm sorry about this weird shit going on here. I think I'm going to restart my stream. So, we're going to restart the stream here. We're going to continue recording for those people that are on YouTube. It's even tweaking out on my OBS. We're going to pause. Let's give this a try. Steal Overseer. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. God, I have no idea what's happening.
going to close out of my... So we're going to stop the stream.